What is going on, everybody? Frank here for the Bakersfield Gentlemen. Today, you guys are going to be something kind of fun. I do want to thank our buddy Austin for making this happen. Uh, today, we'll be taking a look at some authentic Cubans. Alright guys, so my buddy Austin went on a cruise last month and I asked him to pick these up for me and he did so I want to thank Austin for that. Um, a lot of people here in California, especially Southern California, will go on a cruise out of Long Beach to inside of Mexico. Uh, a lot of people in Florida I know go to the Caribbean uh, or other places and a lot of times they'll have these tourist traps here which will sell you a five pack of authentic Cuban cigars, usually Cohiba and Monte Cristos because those are two very well known uh, brands. And honestly, you guys, they are not real cigars. Most of the time, you're getting a semi-decent outer leaf uh, with a bunch of mush inside. Now, a lot of people will swear by it saying, hey, they're just uh, short fill cigars. You're fine to, to smoke them. Um, but also on the flip side, you guys, sometimes they are floor sweepings. I mean, that's usually what it is, floor sweeping. So you can get plastic, you can get hair, you can get dirt, mud, whatever they were walking in is on the floor and transferred into the cigar. So, um... If you want to take the chance to smoke it, you can. I would highly recommend not smoking it. And anytime you see someone that has purchased them and got excited because they thought they bought some authentic Cubans, I would let them know to watch this video. Um, of course, there are a few giveaways here, you guys. Right off the bat, Cohibas do not come in this kind of a box. They do not come in a five-pack glass top box. Um, secondly, just looking at the cigars, and I will make sure we get a picture uh, of a uh, of these jewels, if you will. Um, the Indian head is not centrally placed in the white background. It's gold foil, but no white background. There's no hologram on either the gold bands, top or bottom. Um, also, if you look at them, the actual um, white box background, the lines uh, that intersect, the black lines, are actually varied in size and thickness. So that's a dead giveaway. Um, lastly, if you look at them across the board, if these bands do not line up perfectly and the outer leaves are all identical, they are not real. Um, Cuban cigars, however, may have been losing in popularity recently with the emergence of great cigars coming out of Dominican and Honduras and uh, Nicaragua. Um, but Cuban cigars take great pride in the presentation of the way their cigars look. So every cigar will be placed in the box absolutely uniformly and perfectly. Um, you can tell by looking at these, some bands are higher, some bands are lower, uh, some are cut awkward. And they are just a mess. So you guys, what we're going to do now is I'm going to take one of these uh, beauties out. I'm going to cut it open, and I'm going to show you guys exactly what's inside. Uh, we're going to start with the wrapper, go to the binder, and then lastly the filler. And we'll take a look at them. So stick with us, guys. All right, guys. So I'm going to do this here on this beautiful Mead 5-star Fuchsia colored um, notepad just so you guys can uh, really see what's going on. Now, as you guys look at the cigar itself, um, it doesn't actually look too bad. Um, when you're looking at it from just the leaf point of view. But as you can see here, you guys, it doesn't match up. There's no holograms anywhere. Um, the Indian head here uh, does not match up with the background. And the box checker pattern just looks a little off. Give you guys a little rotation on that. So, with that being said, we actually don't need this anymore. And there's another dead giveaway. There's way too much glue on this thing. So it actually ripped off part of the wrapper there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, not open up that. Let's see if we can get this to cut. Ripped it a little bit, but we're okay. So, yeah, just starting to take off this quote-unquote wrapper leaf. It is super, super thin. Um, yeah, this thing is just tissue paper thin. Um, not the best thing in the world. Now let's see if we can get this binder leaf off. Might take a little bit of effort here to actually separate it. I'm having some technical difficulties here, Mike. There we go. Oh, you got it, you got it. 
about it. Now, as you can see, as we do the wrapper, or the binder, rather, you can see all the insides starting to come out, and that is exactly what you don't want to see. Uh, as far as the binder goes, much like the last one, the binder leaf actually looks a lot better than the wrapper leaf. Uh, it is a little sturdier. Not a whole lot of imperfections on it. It actually looks like a somewhat decent wrapper leaf. But this, you guys, this is what I'm talking about. This is the stuff that you don't want to be smoking. This is all just piles of crap with, look at that, a stem inside already. Um, another little stem in there. Uh, this is just horrible. And this is, this looks like dirt. So you definitely don't want to be smoking that. And I'm sure if we sifted through this uh, efficiently, we would find that there's more um, hairs and stems and just undesirable elements to a cigar that you would not want to be smoking. I mean, this just looks horrible. This is like a, a solid mass of tobacco there. Um, this is not something that you would find in a, a high premium cigar. Um, you would find whole leaves, uh, either accordion or rolled in tubo together. Uh, this might even make a sound if I snap it. No, it didn't, but uh, that's a pretty thick little stem right there. Um, this is all going to make for a very unenjoyable smoking experience. And um, this is the kind of stuff that they're telling you that you're getting a deal for when they sell them to you. Uh, for whatever discounted price that they, they come up with in their heads. And as you can see, this is just, this is horrible, you guys. You would not want to be smoking this. I see more bits of just dirt in here. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we found hair in here or other undesirable things to smoke. So uh, this is exactly the way you would not want to find a Cuban cigar. Um, it's just, it's just a mess, you guys. And uh, this is not something you would want to smoke, nor would you want to give this to someone to smoke. So um, hopefully this goes to show you guys exactly what you don't want to find in a cigar. Uh, we will do a review later on this week where we show you what's inside of an actual premium cigar. Uh, we might use a Cuban. We might not. Um, oh, I don't want to use a Cuban. But, uh, yeah, th this, is just, this is just a mess, guys. It really, really is. So uh, hopefully you guys found this review somewhat useful. In your quest to smoke Cubans, if that is your ultimate goal, and what not to smoke. All right, guys. So hopefully you guys found this uh, informational video useful, and hopefully you guys will not fall for the same traps that hundreds of tourists fall for when they go on vacation. If you guys are in doubt, try to find a local tobacco shop that actually sells quality cigars. They do have them around, and you can find them. You just have to look for them. Um, other than that, you guys, make sure you tune in to us every Tuesday morning at 11.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and Saturday nights at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for our live streams on the Bakers and Gentlemen page on Facebook. You can also catch our reviews and informational videos on YouTube at the Bakersfield Gentlemen. Please subscribe to that and give us the little bell notification and a ding so you guys can be updated on our latest videos. And you guys can find a bunch of our pictures that we share on Instagram and Twitter at BakoGent661. If you guys would like to join our Patreon exclusive group where we do giveaways every month for our Patreon-only members, uh, that is on patreon.com backslash bacogent661, and we'll catch you guys next time. Have a good one.